Recently, the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Hunan TV released a propaganda film, which showed that a twin-tailed scorpion UAV mounted a vehicle called MD-19 and in the air to launch it, and this MD-19 vehicle in the experience of high altitude, high-speed flight, in a traditional way to achieve a smooth landing. As the saying goes, outsiders see the fun, insiders see the doorway. This video immediately attracted a high degree of attention from the foreign media, the U.S. War Zone website, and the European Bulgarian Military Network. Are on this video immediately attracted a great deal of attention from foreign media. The video shows that the Chinese side is testing high-altitude and high-speed vehicles, which are dropped from large bombers and TB-001 drones, as well as from high-altitude balloons. The U.S. website Warzone reported that in these images, the names MD-19, MD-21, and MD-22 can be seen, as opposed to only MD-22, which can be seen in the video. The website Warzone reported that the images show multiple prototypes with MD-19, MD-21, MD-22, and MD-2, as well as an unspecified last digit of MD-2. After analyzing the near-space wide area vehicle in the video, it is believed that the MD series of vehicles could evolve into hypersonic glide missiles, unmanned high-altitude and high-speed reconnaissance aircraft, and even ultra-long-range strike platforms in the future according to demand. According to the video, the MD-19, MD-21, and MD-2X have an overall layout similar to that of the MD-22 with a wedge-shaped fuselage, delta wings, and dual side-tilting tail fins with retractable front tricycle landing gear. Apparently, they belong to China's newly developed near-space wide-area vehicle, which can be adapted to different flight speeds and altitudes, including near space in the outermost layers of the atmosphere. From the appearance of these vehicles, it is assumed that their flight speeds may exceed Mach 5, and all of them belong to the category of hypersonic vehicles. To achieve such speeds, they must be equipped with advanced engines such as dual-mode ramjet engines or supersonic ramjet engines. So we can see that the MD series are presented in a three-engine structure. In the center is an aspirated main engine, the two sides may be a pair of rocket engines. This series of vehicles need to be released through the Boom 6, high-altitude balloons, and twin-tailed Scorpion large drones to carry to high altitude in order to obtain sufficient altitude and speed, and then start the rocket engine to accelerate to hypersonic speeds and ultimately through the main engine to realize the cruise flight. According to professional research, the MD series of vehicles not only have hypersonic flight capabilities, but also can realize horizontal recovery and reuse, which opens up a wider range of prospects for future near space applications. The fact that these vehicles can operate freely in near space, unfettered by atmosphere and orbit, confers on them an extremely high strategic value. Compared with traditional strategic bombers and missile systems, hypersonic vehicles have greatly improved the military strike efficiency and strategic deterrence with their ultra high speed, flexible maneuverability and more difficult interception. In the future, China may carry out attack, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions based on the MD series of vehicles, while the model that can carry a nuclear warhead will be used to carry out intercontinental nuclear attack missions. China is actively validating relevant technologies to develop related weaponry. Taking the Scout 8 reconnaissance aircraft as an example, these experts said that the MD-22 aircraft revealed at the air show has the potential to be developed into an unmanned reconnaissance aircraft to replace the Scout 8. Because in their previous analysis of the No Reconnaissance 8, they mentioned that the No Reconnaissance 8 has a very high flight speed due to the use of a rocket engine as a power source, but it also has problems such as a short mission radius and poor maneuverability. When used in practice, it can only carry out reconnaissance of a designated area and if you want to adjust the reconnaissance area, you need to return to the flight recovery and refueling again. Although in theory, with the strong speed performance, no detective eight, even if you have to return to the second strike, its reconnaissance efficiency will not be much worse than the general long range UAV. But in practice, no detective eight need to boom six bomber, hanging in the belly to the high altitude launch. Mission efficiency and boom six attendance is directly linked. No reconnaissance eight, is more suitable for the implementation of reconnaissance missions to specific areas rather than cross-regional patrol reconnaissance. In contrast, the MD-22's theoretical performance on this issue is expected to be better 
than that of the Scoutless 8. For one thing, according to the MD-22 model and conceptual drawings exposed at the air show, the MD-22 is likely to use a hybrid design with one aspirated main engine plus two rocket engines. Compared to the pure rocket power of the Scout 8, this design can greatly improve the maneuverability, power range, and maximum speed of the MD-22 vehicle after the rocket engine runs out of fuel. So why has the test flight of the MD series of vehicles attracted such high attention from the foreign media? The reason is simple. It is a high-altitude and high-speed UAV, as well as a wide-area unmanned aerial vehicle. In terms of flight altitude, it can fly at an altitude of 20,100 kilometers from the ground. In terms of speed, its flight speed can reach Mach 6, and it can maneuver at high speed with an overload of 6G. In terms of wide area, it can fly stably in a number of speed intervals such as subsonic, supersonic, supersonic, and hypersonic. And it can not only fly at high altitude and high speed, but also maintain a good flight attitude at low altitude and low speed. This makes the MD series has the characteristics of the suborbital bomber. One, the flight altitude of the air resistance is small. There is a longer flight distance. Two, the flight speed is fast. A few hours to hit the whole world is not a problem. Three, the flight altitude is very high. Is located at the edge of the atmosphere. It is difficult to be ordinary radar detection, but also very difficult to carry out the interception. Of course, it should be pointed out that it is difficult to draw this conclusion simply through the short tens of seconds of the CAS screen. The reason why the MD series is said to be a suborbital bomber, but also from the air show two years ago. At the Zhuhai Air Show in 2022, a hypersonic drone codenamed MD-22 appeared, of which the paper performance is quite amazing. Speed of Mach 7, range of 8,000 kilometers, load capacity of 600 kilograms, can be 6G high-speed overload maneuvering. U.S. and European military network noted that with MD-19 together, there are marked as MD-21, MD-2 prototype. That is to say, MD-22 is China wants to develop the ideal type, final type, and MD-19 and other models are, in other words, MD-22 is the ideal type and final type that China wants to develop, while MD-19 and other models are all test models. To put it another way, MD-19 has already been successfully flown. Will MD-22 be far away? Therefore, the U.S. and European military network is very concerned about the progress of research and development with the MD-22. In fact, in the MD-22 prototype appeared, Taiwan's military expert Shui Huaman pointed out that this thing will become the United States of America's big trouble. First, it has high mobility, 6G overload, what action can do. Second, it has ultra-high speed, Mach 7, what interceptor weapons cannot catch up. Third, it has intercontinental strike capability. If the use of one-way suicide attack mode can be micronuclear weapons delivered to 8,000 kilometers away from the intercontinental strike capability. Finally, it is a variety of launch modes can be launched by drones, can be launched, can be launched by rockets, can also be on an aircraft carrier. It can also be launched from an aircraft carrier.